My name is Eleanor Dewetter, and today we're going to talk about thunderstorm downbursts and the dust storms that can sometimes occur. Downburst winds are a common byproduct of thunderstorms associated with the summer monsoon across the southwestern United States and can be extremely hazardous. You may also hear these referred to as microbursts or even macrobursts, but they can both represent a thunderstorm downburst. A downburst is a non-rotating wind that is created by a column of sinking air in a thunderstorm that hits the ground with a great force and spreads out in all directions. Wind speed can occasionally exceed 100 miles per hour, producing damage similar to some weaker tornadoes. In addition, as the air impacts the ground to spread out laterally, it often produces a vortex or curl along its leading edge which is called a rain foot, making it possible to identify a downburst visually from a distance. Unfortunately, detecting and warning for downbursts is difficult to do. Here's an example of a storm that occurred over Elephant Butte Lake on July 1st of 2013. The weak-looking storm on radar actually unleashed a dry microburst that produced estimated winds of 80 to 90 miles per hour. Fourth of July holiday campers were caught by surprise as this microburst damaged or destroyed at least 12 RVs and displaced some vehicles as much as 40 yards. A similar dry microburst occurred in the same area a couple years later, this time destroying Elephant Butte's Marina del Sur with 70 mile per hour winds. While these were dry microbursts, it is also possible to have wet microbursts, like the one that occurred directly over the National Weather Service office location in Santa Teresa, New Mexico in July 2017. Winds were clocked at 73 miles per hour at the office at the time the cold, wet air impacted the ground. A combination of nearby time-lapse imagery and photos from a nearby aircraft helped to document this event in great detail. Even more remarkable was the imagery captured by the National Weather Service radar directly under the downburst. You can see the concentric rings radiating out in all directions as the rain-cooled outflow of the downburst spread out. Another big threat across the southwestern United States is the dust that can be kicked up as a result of these downbursts. The dust storms can be in the form of localized dust channels or much larger and longer lived areas of blowing dust called haboobs. Haboobs produce a wall of dust that can drop visibilities to near zero in just a matter of seconds. Here we see a motorist making a very unwise decision to drive directly into a haboob as opposed to pulling over or taking the nearby exit off the interstate. This driver was lucky, but these situations can be very deadly. In late May of 2014, a decaying thunderstorm near Lordsburg, New Mexico, produced 60 mile per hour winds that kicked up dust and rapidly reduced visibility along the interstate. A fiery chain reaction crash resulted in seven fatalities and a multitude of injuries. Ironically, radar at the time indicated much stronger convection in other parts of southern New Mexico as opposed to the site of this dust storm. As such, we need to keep in mind that any thunderstorm is capable of producing downbursts and dust storms. This event sadly occurred again along the same stretch of highway just three years later in June of 2017. In this case, a rather weak-looking storm on radar produced a localized downburst that pushed a dust channel across the interstate. This time, there were 25 vehicles involved, and unfortunately, six additional lives were lost. So is there anything that you can do to stay safe when downbursts and dust storms occur? The answer is most definitely yes. When thunderstorms threaten, keep an eye on the sky and look for the characteristic rain or even dust foot indicating a downburst. Take shelter immediately and stay away from trees. Remember, downburst winds can travel dozens of miles away from the thunderstorm that produced them. It's always a good idea to secure loose items outdoors before the monsoon season begins. If driving, the best thing to do is never drive into the dust. If you encounter a dust storm, pull off the road immediately. Turn off headlights, taillights, and remove your foot from the brake so that other drivers will not see you and mistake your location for the actual travel lanes. However, if you must keep driving, which is something that we highly discourage, slow down, tap your brakes repeatedly to alert other drivers behind you. Unfortunately, downbursts and dust storms go hand in hand with our monsoon season, but taking time now to understand these hazards and prepare a plan of action if you happen to encounter one can make the difference between life and death. <laughs>